Roughly 18 months have passed since we first learned about Tesla's plan to add an electric semi-truck, of all things, to its automotive product family. At the time, it was said to be in the early stages of development and was expected to appear sometime in 2017. Lo and behold, this past April, we were crawling around a pair of Tesla semi-prototypes at the company's Hawthorne, California, headquarters. Then in May, Musk took to Twitter and claimed that the semi would be unveiled in September. Sigh, at least this is a month that ends in ember. More important, it seems worth the wait. As with Tesla's other product reveals, the semi was introduced at a huge Hollywood-style party filled with Tesla owners and fans, red carpet and all. Yes, a red carpet and multiple layers of security for a semi-truck introduction, that's a first. And Musk wasted no time producing his two prototype rigs for the adoring throng to behold, both of which circled a vast expanse of asphalt in total silence before poking their sleek, sloped noses through the open hangar doors at the JIT Center in Hawthorne, California, adjacent to Tesla's HQ. We designed the trucks to be like a bullet, said Musk, and indeed, each of these day cab trucks look as deliciously futuristic as one could hope them to look particularly the low-roof matte gray version, which turned out to be carrying some very precious cargo. With the exception of the windshield wipers and the exterior rear-view mirrors, everything on the front and sides of the semi's body has been smooth and flush-mounted. Including low set headlamps, the upper clearance lights, and the Model 3 source door handle. The bottom of the truck is flat. Behind the cab are extendable panels that automatically detect the size of the the trailers leading edges and extend out to meet them, effectively seeing them together from an aerodynamic standpoint. The wheels have very dynamic covers, too, with a great example of features full skirting over the rear wheels. The coefficient of drag is a stunning 0.36. Even more than at least in contrast to the often printed of today's big rigs, is the same interior which we were allowed to crawl around in briefly before the official unveiling. First of all, access to the space is provided by a couple of steps mounted at a slope just inside the door, a relatively easy climb up compared to the repelling exercise most truckers endure every time they get in and out. Even in this day cab form, the Tesla Semi's low floor and tall ceiling allow one to stand up inside and easily walk over to the passenger seat on the other side of the cab or around to the center-mounted driver's seat. That's right, without an engine protruding into the front center of the cab, its covered housing is known in trucker circles as the doghouse. The Tesla Semi places its driver front and center, affording him more her a commanding view forward and to the sides. Dual touchscreens flanking the steering wheel fully integrate all vehicle information, navigation, travel logs, and communications, say, with one's dispatcher, without cluttering the space with ancillary components. And, yes, there's a pull strap for the horn, 